Hi, I'm Bob Cram, and today we're taking a look at the just released The Elder Scrolls Online Beta. And we're just going to have a look at the character customization options, which um, I'm going to assume are fairly similar to that, those we've seen in Skyrim, but slightly enhanced. Um, we'll forget about doing a character name. So I'm just going to go through the basic options that are available to you. So for starters, you can choose your race. And we'll get a nice close-up of this orc. So we'll start off with the Breton. And um, we'll change their uh, outfit to no gear. We like no gear. So you get a good to kind of look at their body and not for any perverse reasons just to see their shape and form because obviously um, you'll see in a minute the various races have their own kind of quirks so this is a Breton you can just swap over to the male counterpart kind of the character that you would expect but we're going to stick with female for the time being. Don't ask why, we just are. So, that's the Breton. Now we've got the High Elf. Looking pretty serious. Quite well animated. And you notice a different kind of skin tone compared to the Breton. And we'll move to an Argonian. Now this is the reason why we're choosing this particular no gear. This is so we can see the texture detail on the skin. Look at that. Incredible detail. We'll just pan out again to see that she's got a nice tail. It's pretty cool. She's got a good six pack there as well. She looks like she's ready for some action. And then we'll go to the Orc. That was the one we saw at the beginning. She has got some pretty muscular thighs, as you can see there. She's pretty buff. I mean, this is what you expect in a video game. You know, the kind of character that she's going to be. You know, let's just look at the gear that she can wear. Novice gear, veteran gear. You know, when someone's coming at you with this kind of gear... You expect underneath them to be kind of, well, exactly like that, strong and powerful. Not some uh, weakling that will snap when the wind blows. Now she does look pretty mean. So we go back to the wood elf. You can see here, she's got her own kind of style, different kind of skin complexion. And she seems a bit more um, slim. So that would be down to the fact that she's not so much a melee fighter. She doesn't need all of that bulk. Uh, I assume as being an elf she'll be more spell based and um, using ranged attack with bows. And now we choose the dark elf. Again very similar. You can see now she's got a more grey like appearance, a bit more menacing looking. And obviously those piercing red eyes. Looks pretty cool. And the Red Guards. Again, very similar to the Breton model. But obviously with that kind of reddish hue in the skin tone. Very muscular. Um, quite attractive looking. And again, ready for some serious action. Now the Khajiit. Again, this has got some really excellent looking uh, fur on the skin. Looks really nice. It's pretty cool. Again, she's uh, ready for action. Let me just quickly swap over to the male Khajiit, just to give you a bit of contrast. And with all the gear on. Pretty serious stuff. 
And finally, the Nord. Now she's looking quite uh, slender. She's pretty cool looking. Very um, serious, as you would expect. So that's the kind of basic characters. Let's just zoom out and put her in her gear. So you can just get an idea of what she's looking at. We just zoom in now to see that kind of detail on her gear. And she certainly looks the part for some serious adventure. So, what can you do with these um, characters? So, uh, let's just go back to the um, Breton for now. No. The Red Guard. Yeah, Red Guard looks cool. So, we're going to use the Red Guard as the basic template. Now, what you can do here... Obviously, you can change the class of characters. Dragon Knight, Sorcerer, obviously that won't make any difference to their look. But now we can look at the um, body. So you've got this slider here now to make them more muscular. Make them bigger. I need to pan out so you can just get an idea of the increased girth of this character now. So that's large. You can bring that across very skinny or we can have muscular and skinny kind of sits in the middle that triangle kind of gives you a nice balance of um, those features and then again we can change the height very tall or quite tiny it doesn't actually tell you what the height is but that gives you a good idea so we we'll just keep that in the middle for now and then we can change the detail skin color slightly different tones from dark skin to a bit more lighter and moving on we can just now check out things like body marking so this kind of presets here as you can see we have to zoom in here it's got that weird effect on her skin kind of scarring Just go through these. Some horrible burns there. Look at that. Poor girl's been burnt. Some pretty vicious scarring. Some more subtle scarring and then tattoos. Well, that's kind of pretty much full body tattoo there. Looks quite cool. Just rotate that round. Some interesting uh, designs here. That gives you a nice idea of the kind of things you can change. Obviously, if you're wearing full body armor, you won't be able to see any of this. Right, so that's the kind of basic look, but you can now sort of change a bit more intricate details, such as the torso size, and so give it a bit of a wider shoulders that seems to adjust, and chest area. Then we've got the chest size. Increase those breasts. If we just zoom in a bit closer, you can just see that. So small breasts to quite large breasts and then we just rotate that round so you get an idea I mean this is all kind of quite standard fare for these kind of games um, you know being able to tailor the character to your whim change the gut size as you can see there waistline so you create that nice hourglass figure or plum figure, depending on what you prefer. And we can even change the things like the arm size. The thickness of the arms, make them skinnier. Which then it accentuates the um, breasts a bit more. 
uh, more details such as the hand size. Which I need to zoom back out so you can just see that and rotate that round. So you can try make them have bigger hands. I mean some of these effects are quite subtle and not stuff that you're really going to notice. And they've got hip size, we'll just turn her around again so she's square on. And you just get an idea to make her a bit more shapely. And then the posterior dimensions. See her butt. That just gives her butt a bit of um, movement, as you can see. And then you've got leg size. So wider legs. And then foot size, obviously, that's... So that gives you an idea of the customization options. Now you can then change more details with the um, face. So we'll just rotate her around. And you've got um, the sliders here now. For the voice. And the slide, sorry, the slider here actually is for the um, face, as you can see, I'm moving it and her face changes. Now it's interesting that they've called it angular, soft and heroic. So this is her, a heroic face and that's a more softer face. You know, you, you've got all these kind of, um, let's change to a different um, character. Let's go back to the Nord, the Imperial. No, Imperial seems to be locked in the beat beater. So if we look at the Breton, we would zoom into her face. And we go back to that slider now, so it's softer face. That's a bit more cute. Let me just show the extreme and go up to heroic. As you can see, she's got a bigger jawline. She's kind of a bit more tough. Her eyebrows a bit more angular. So, you know, it's about finding the right balance. You know, I prefer a bit of a softer looking character. And then you can change the voice. <laughs> Again, that's your personal preference. And now the all-important hairstyle. So, crop cut. I need to rotate her so you can just see that she's got a ponytail there. Bob cut. Long hair, mohawks. So there's a, a decent selection of hair styles and obviously you can then change the colour to suit. So if we put that there, got a kind of blonde hair. You notice the eyebrows have changed colour to match the blonde hair as well. So it's an overall look of hair. And it's different shades, change it red headed. Really jet black hair. Brown hair. And then we move on to features, facial features, and we'll zoom in here. So you can now age the character. As you can see, look, that's getting much older. Ah, my pretty! <laughs> She's now much older. She's kind of like a 80, 80 year old. A bit more weathered. Seen a lot more adventure. And then you can just put her down to a fresh, nubile, young woman. Or somewhere in the middle. 
just to add a bit of character. Just adding those lines to the to the character's face. Adornment. These are items that you can add. As you can see, eye patches, headbands, that sort of thing. Head markings, similar to the tattoos and scars that we've seen earlier. Let's just turn her around so you can get a better view of that. And even some makeup like that. That looks quite cool. Now, I must say for the record, I'm not sure if this is complete, this particular character customization, or whether some stuff will be added um, for the full game. But I do like some of the makeup options they've got here. I'll keep that one there, that's quite cool. So now you can then, I'm not going to go through all of these, but you can now edit the intricate details of the structure of the head, jaw, chin, cheekbone, forehead, that sort of thing, next size, um, eye colour now, you can change those, blue eyed, brown eyed, I think in, in terms of realism, the most common colour of eye is brown, I think, I might be wrong, uh, it's certainly not blue. So we just keep that as a dark brown eye colour. And then you can change the eye size, angle. So you can then really customise your character and spend the time going through all these details. Ears, nose, mouth, etc. And um, create the character of your desire. And then we just stick her some armour on her. And she's looking pretty cool. So that gives you an idea of the character customization. Now one last thing I'm going to do here, which is quite interesting, is just randomize and you'll get some nice varied looking characters. Just to give you an idea of the kind of things you can do. She looks quite cool. Obviously you're going to come up with some real monsters when you do this, but you know, just showing off the um, options that you have available to you. Different sizes, different scarring. Damn, that burn scar is just hideous. But it looks really cool. As you see, there's some really nice designs here. You can really sort of go to town. And if you're patient, I mean, just clicking the randomize, if you're patient, you will find one that is appealing. And then obviously, if you do find one that's to your liking, you can then sort of edit even further. I mean, you, you might like the face of one of them, but not necessarily the body or, or vice versa. You might not like the tats. And you can just strip them off and keep the template. Okay, I think that gives you a good idea of what you can do with the um, Elder Scrolls Online beta character customization. Uh, as I said earlier, I'm not sure this is the full options, but I pretty much think they won't need to add much more. Maybe some extra bits, but I, I find that unlikely. Um, it's, it's pretty complete as it is. It gives you a lot of options. And um, you can spend as little or as long as you like playing with this uh, to get the character of your desire. Okay, I'm Rob Cram. Thanks for watching.